my channel my name is shima this is in plain sight tarot and i'm back with another pick a card reading for you guys and this time this pick a card reading is going to be about what energies are you being influenced by at this time this moment in time okay so we're going to be looking into that um before we go any further i would like to welcome back uh to all of my existing subscribers welcome back to all of you and of course to all of my new subscribers welcome in and welcome um thank you for joining us at this uh channel okay um in plain sight to row thank you so much for your support um uh, to all of you thank you so much for all the comments for all the love for all the support for all the donations for all the bookings you guys thank you so much thank you thank you thank you i truly truly appreciate each and every single one of you um uh i have a little announcement to make that some some of um, my uh personal readings um, have been delayed okay have been delayed for a little bit because I've been getting a lot of personal readings coming in so um, for those of you who are waiting for your personal readings thank you thank you thank you so much for your patience okay um, you will all be getting your personal readings out um, by the end of this week okay and uh, yeah anyways um, let's get straight into the reading um, as usual, we have three piles to choose from. Um, surround yourself in that beautiful iridescent white light, okay, before you choose your piles. If you don't know what that looks like, it look, it's up here on screen for you, okay? And then when you're ready, you can go ahead and choose your piles. Use your intuition when choosing your piles. Don't overthink your intuition. And if you need to take a longer look at the piles, just please pause the video, okay? Okay, so pal number one. Before we get into your pal, I want to cleanse the energy a little bit, okay? I want to make it a habit of doing this before each reading. Hopefully, if I remember. Nice. Okay. All right. So, pile number one, you guys chose turquoise. Number 57, turquoise. You guys are influenced by universal energies at the moment, okay? I'm seeing like with this uh, whirlpool, you're getting a lot of downloads. You are influenced by the universe at the moment. You're influenced by a lot of energies in the ethers. You're getting a lot of downloads from the ethers okay from the heavens i'm hearing okay some of you are very very intuitive very your your crown chakra is very lit and open i'm also hearing that um uh, i'm being drawn to these like gold lines here they remind me of kintsugi some of you have gone through a lot of transformations a lot of breaking apart and then putting yourself back together breaking open and then putting yourself back together again some of you might have uh recently you know um I don't know some of you not recently but some of you have really been through it through the ringer you've been through a lot okay um you have not had an easy ride up until now i'm hearing okay and um but you are better for it i'm hearing okay you are someone new for it it looks like this 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 turquoise is like literally shining right now okay so you are being um Look at your aura too. Your aura is just like glowing, right? This white around you, okay? You're reborn, renewed. You've gone through a transformation, okay? You are being influenced by your guides, your, the, the ethers, like the, I, I used to like seeing things, uh, seeing this thing. I used to like seeing this thing, um, influenced by things unseen, okay? So you are, you're being influenced by universal energies, Spirit, you're influenced by spirit, okay? Mm -hmm. 
okay so I'm seeing this dent in this turquoise here okay see that is like a dent there some of you still have like a chip on your shoulder okay because of something or someone okay you still have that chip on your shoulder okay so you might be influenced by that a little bit okay um, that that could be something that's still in your energy all right that's influencing the way you the way you socialize with others I'm hearing or react to others or respond to others all right okay some of you are also influenced by the things that you're you've been seeing on the on on the internet on social media in movies okay some of you have been quite focused on social media recently i'm hearing okay because i'm seeing this like a surfboard and it's like surfing the web i'm hearing surfing the web for some reason okay some of you might have been yeah some of you are experiencing migraines or headaches i'm sensing a headache on this side of my head and it's mm, yeah, you might want to um, decrease the amount of time that you're on social media, okay? I feel like I'm, I'm giving advice to myself. I think we all get into that state of, you know, doom scrolling where you're constantly just like scrolling, 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 scrolling. Scrolling, you don't even know what you're scrolling, you don't even know what you're watching, you're just scrolling and seeing what's going on. Okay. I'm also hearing spirit say observe, do not absorb. Okay. Observe, don't absorb. With all the things caught in your mind yeah you've got you've got a lot of things caught up in your mind okay because of what you've been exposing yourself to i'm hearing okay so be careful with that it might be creating a little bit of anxiety in you okay or overstimulation i'm hearing okay envy all right have envy Door to personal healing and happiness. The thinking man. Broken heart. Bottom of the deck we have hostilities. In, okay with envy here all right you guys me have a tendency to compare yourself to others all right ace of cups under envy clarify door to personal healing and happiness we have seven of coins okay clarify thinking man six of swords Clarify broken heart. Four of pentacles. Some of you are holding on to a broken heart here, okay? And that's what's influencing your energy, all right? Um, you're holding on to a broken heart. Bottom of the deck, we have death, all right? Under hostilities. Okay, some of you, I'm hearing, like with social media, you guys have been exposed to a lot of people, who, envious people, okay? You're watching and you are also absorbing the energy and you are starting to get envious of other people too, okay? This, some of you, this energy of envy of you comparing yourself to others, you are starting to heal that, I'm hearing, okay? You're beginning to heal that. Door to personal healing and happiness, all right? With seven of coins here. 
it is going to be your door to personal healing and happiness is going to be a long drawn out process of course everyone's everyone has their own healing journey okay but with the seven of pentacles here you feel like things are moving along so slow i'm hearing okay your transformation or something or is moving along so slow so i'm hearing it's like you you are you are you are filling your time in or maybe you're using you're using social media as a distraction or you're 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 distracting yourself with social media and it's creating a lot of envy within you it's it's creating a lot of uh you know comparison okay and <laughs> i'm hearing right now um comparison is the thief of joy okay so yeah um maybe you want to stop compare comparing yourself to others all right okay there's always going to be someone who has more than you there's always going to have be someone who has less than you you know it's 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 something that we all do on social media we un i understand that but you might want to not absorb those energies because maybe you are also trying to heal from a broken heart and you are still holding on to a broken heart you're holding on to some pain from a past relationship or something okay maybe um I don't know maybe you are a masculine here or you're in your masculine energy all right um with the thinking man here in the six of swords you're influenced by your the vision of your future i'm hearing okay what you are trying to move towards all right right now right now what you're influenced by right now is also but you're you're being caught up in all these hostilities and the death is happening around the world all the you know all the towers that are crumbling around the world right now all the chaos and conflict okay all the chaos and conflict okay and uh Yeah, some of you are spending too much time on social media, I'm hearing. And it's affecting it's affecting your road or your journey to your personal healing and happiness. It's slowing it down. I'm hearing, okay? It's slowing it down because why? Because you're constantly comparing yourself to others. You're quite you you are more focused on what other people are doing outside of you rather than you focusing on your healing journey. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. All right. Some of you are, you know, some of you are thinking like you're only going to be happy once you move away or once you're at somewhere else in your future. All right. Your door to personal healing and happiness doesn't start somewhere in the future. It starts now. At every single moment. Okay. Happiness is personal to each and every individual, you know. What might make someone happy might not make another person happy, right? We all want different things. We all we all desire different things. We all strive for different things. We all are inspired by different things. We all, you know. But right now, with hostilities and death here okay you might still be angry about something that has ended all right something that you thought was going to bring you a lot of you know it was a i guess i'm hearing a false start all right some of you yeah false start okay so yeah that's what you're being influenced by at the moment let's see what else i'm going to use another tarot deck what is your advice
Don't let envy spoil your vibration, you guys. It's 333 at the moment, okay? So you might be seeing that number, all right? Your guides and your angels are around you right now. 333 is the number of Ascended Masters. So yeah, you have Ascended Masters around you, all right? Trying to guide you into the right, in the right direction for you, all right? So you might want to stop comparing your your journey to personal healing personal healing and happiness to other people and you know we all have different lessons to learn in life okay you're, you're taking on all of this hostile energy from this broken heart that you have not released yet, that you're still holding on to. It says here you're holding on to it with the Four of Pentacles, okay? And you're constantly thinking of something in the future, something in the future, something in the future. You're putting your happiness somewhere in the future. It's always going to be in the future if you're going to uh, keep doing that, right? Yeah, you're, 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 you're prolonging something that doesn't need to be prolonged. Okay. We have the High Priestess. Okay. I'm also hearing that other people's envy of you, envious of you that's also something an energy that you're being influenced by at the moment four of wands beautiful okay mm. really Okay, so you have the Knight of Pentacles that came out with the Nine of Wands, all right? Yeah, slow moving, slow moving. And we have the Eight of Swords, all right? Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Cups, all right? Some of you may be Scorpio here. Or a strong water sign, okay? You may have strong water in your chart, All right? Pisces, too, I'm seeing with the high priestess here, okay? So, you have been exposed to death and destruction and towers and, and poverty. I'm seeing with four of pentacles, you've been exposed to envy. Uh, people envious of you all right hostilities people fighting so i'm, I'm sensing like that a lot of this is not happening in your current reality right now it's happening more outside of you okay things that are things that you cannot control things that you you can't change okay as much as you try things that you can't change all right you're being asked to reel all of that energy all of your energy fragment and energy and reel it back in all right just like this kintsugi all this uh all the kintsugi um what cracks here right it's like you filling them back up with gold you putting the broken pieces back together with gold okay pouring gold back into that broken heart of yours all right you are very 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 highly intuitive here okay you can sense other people's envy and you can also sense that people who who is for you who loves you who who is authentic with you who is real, who's being real with you, and who is being envious of you. You can feel this, okay? 
you know trust your instincts you need to start trusting your instincts trust your body all right trust your body there's reasons why you get these instincts okay and I'm hearing your door to personal healing and happiness is eventually going to bring you into this four of wands okay you are going to be in a happy state you will be but you've got to find it within you right now okay here now here in the here and now is what matters the most okay you cannot control anything outside of you in the future you can't control anything outside of you that you can't see at the moment you can't also control anything that's happened in the past okay so Time we give something you would try, okay? For some reason, I'm hearing, okay, some of you were put in a third party situation or you've been in a third party situation, okay? Um, and you are now quite heartbroken, and I'm sorry that this has happened to you. I have also been heartbroken many, many times before, and of course, we, we all know that, you know, being heartbroken by the people we love most is very very hurtful but you can heal from it and you are already starting to heal from it you are but you surrounding yourself in hostilities and and death and destruction and everything it's not helping your healing journey all right it's a distraction from you having to heal yourself all right and yes it is going to take a while but you can get there You're already doing it, okay? And with the Knight of Pentacles here that came out with the Nine of Wands, some of you might be wanting to offer, you know, wanting to to offer yourself to someone. I'm hearing with the Nine of Pentacles here, you're working towards something or someone. You're working towards something, but you're still guarded at the moment. You're still hurt, okay? With the nine, this is this is the 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 wounded warrior card, okay, and you're guarded, and you're still hurt, and you're still, you know, not able to release and surrender this pain, this broken heart. How are you going to offer a broken heart to someone new? It's not fair on the new person, okay? All right. So this this nine this eight of swords is what is putting I mean sorry this broken heart this holding on to the broken heart is what's putting you in the state of worry constant state of worry okay radical acceptance I'm hearing okay that's maybe something that you might want to look into radical acceptance okay. You have a lot of emotions that are, are, are unexpressed, okay? And you might want to express yourself to someone, all right? There's something that you want to express yourself. The, it, it, it comes from a place of you not being able to express yourself to him here, okay? This broken heart too. You not being able to, to, to get your point across or something, right? And some of you are still bitter over this ending with hostilities and death here all right okay so i'm sorry that you guys are experiencing this at the moment but this is your door to personal healing and happiness you are already doing it but it is a tedious long journey it seems like a long journey okay it seems like a long journey because you are distracting yourself with things outside of you okay social media and all this uh turmoil and chaos and conflicts and stuff right but what you need to be paying attention to is that broken heart of yours okay 
and you will become like this turquoise here right like this i'm not seeing it as a turquoise but like a broken turquoise with kintsugi in it right okay so pile number one i'm going to end the reading there thank you so much for uh coming to my reading i hope that reading resonated with you if it didn't resonate with you you can go ahead and choose another pile if it did resonate with you remember to like comment share subscribe and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified on future uploads if you'd like to book a personal reading from me you can find my email details down below in the description box email me there and i'll send you the rates um thank you so much for all the bookings for all the donations for all the likes for all the comments um for everything for all the support for all the love thank you thank you thank you so much you guys and i hope you guys have a good week and i will see you guys in my next video okay bye two um so before we start your pile i just want to clear the energy okay i'm trying to make this a habit with each one of my readings so Wow, pile number two, I feel like your energy is very, very intense and strong at the moment. I'm feeling courage from you guys, all right? You guys are being inspired right now. All right, you are inspired. You are, you guys chose obsidian, right? Okay. You are inspired, I'm, I'm, I'm hearing inspired. Influenced by inspiration, hope, courage. Okay, you've been able to detach yourself from something. I'm seeing that you're getting help from another entity here okay i don't know where this entity is coming from but you are being lifted lift off lift off i'm hearing lift off okay you've been able to detach yourself from certain things in your life that you've been wanting to detach yourself from and you've been uh you've been successful in detaching yourself okay You're feeling strong at the moment you're feeling courageous you're feeling inspired you're feeling um this is good energy i like it it's like you are you're in your own energy you are being influenced by your own strength and also by someone else's strength here someone else is helping you someone or something else is helping you do you see this it's like coming from this side here there's another entity here that is helping you lift off okay you're also very protected here with obsidian all right new orleans some of you might be new orleans london belfast the uk i'm hearing <laughs> something about Ireland I don't know why I'm hearing Ireland yeah very very courageous here very inspired that's what I'm hearing okay so let's see I'm also hearing you're 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 being influenced by love okay you guys are in love maybe you are in love here and and this love is helping you detach lovingly from the things that don't serve you anymore okay <clears throat> someone or something outside of you is helping you is helping you helping helping elevate you and also helping you lift off okay 
39 could be a significant number. Okay, that's 39 and 12 and 3. Okay. We have hostilities. Angel of Love. Fight for love, I'm thinking. Ready to fight for love. Ready to go up against anyone. Yeah, the sun. Okay. Some of you might be Leo here. And the goddess of the moon. All right. Goddess of the moon. Angel of love. You're being lifted by a lot. I'm hearing you're being helped by a feminine energy here. All right. Yeah. There's a feminine energy that's helping is is carrying your your energy it's almost like this feminine energy is helping you elevate you or or helping you feel lighter bottom of the deck the heart chakra fourth chakra archangel raphael okay Let me get all the cards out. You guys are ready to go up against anything in here, here. Okay, all in the name of love, right? The angel of love and your heart chakra here, you're being inspired and you're being guided by your heart. You are influenced by your own heart right now, okay? That's lovely. And your happiness, the sun, you're being influenced by the sun. Some of you might be have been spending a lot of time out in the sun, evening, okay? And the moon. We have the moon, both the sun and the moon here. Maybe you're inspired by or you are in love with your counterpart here, someone who is very uh, significant to your spiritual journey, I'm hearing, okay? Someone that makes you happy. Someone that makes you feel things in your heart space, okay? Butterflies in your heart space, not butterflies in your stomach, right? There's a difference. <laughs> Flutters in your heart space, all right? You might be feeling that, you know, fluttery feelings in your chest space. It doesn't hurt, but it's like you, you feel like a tip, tapping on your heart space, okay? That's what I'm hearing. Okay, we have the Page of Swords under hostilities, okay? We're going out tonight. I'll turn the clock tonight. Oh, how will it make us happy? Three of Wands, okay? Six of Cups. Yeah, you guys. So much lovey dovey feelings in this pile. I love it. It's like, I want to fight for love, you know? <laughs> I want to go after my one true love. That's what I'm hearing, okay? And we have the Nine of Wands. Okay. <clears throat> Bottom of the deck, Four of Wands, okay? Yeah, you guys are definitely inspired and motivated and influenced by your journey to love here okay with hostilities and page of swords here i'm hearing that you are willing to go up against all right um whatever makes her happy like it's some of you might be you know masculines who are watching uh, this pal or you're in your masculine energy which means you are ready to go go for something because Someone else is giving you the energy to do this, all right? Or or funneling some energy like the goddess of the moon here, okay? And she's also holding a sphere, all right? This could be someone. This could be you or the other person, okay? So so for some reason I'm hearing this pal definitely by love. So. I'm hearing that you're being held here by a feminine energy. 
or the the feminine energy okay the feminine energy whether you are masculine or feminine you are being held up or you are being warmed up to i'm hearing warmed up by the feminine energy with the sun goddess of the moon and angel of love here all right i don't know if you're dealing with uh someone who is very very highly 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 intuitive here all right with the goddess of the moon here you could be the highly intuitive one that is that is um holding space or or funneling this energy towards your lover here okay you're ready to go up you're you're ready to go up against anything i'm hearing you're ready to fight for this love with hostilities and page of swords even though you feel you're like you know you might not be cut for it or you're, you're saying that you're not ready or whatever but you i'm hearing that you don't want to let this pass you by you don't want to let this thing pass you by or this person pass you by and like i said take it where it resonates you could be the person of interest or you could be uh the other person okay <laughs> all right yeah the six of cups and the sun here it's like you're feeling content you're feeling happy you're feeling like every time this person gives you you know i'm i'm reading this intuitively with the nine of wands here it's like this the there um this energy this other energy here okay this, this high priestess i'm hearing high priestess is funneling this energy that's what i'm hearing or giving this energy to you and it's making you feel energized come on be alive again okay it's making you feel alive again you know what to do you know what to do that's what i'm hearing you know what to do Some of you are focused on love or going after love here. That's definitely. Because you're being influenced by your heart. Your heart speech. Your heart chakra is... Ooh, I'm getting tingles right now. Like I'm getting goosebumps. And it's... it's I don't know. If it, it's like feeling in love and feeling like everything's going to be okay. Like... like there's no fear i'm here like like you you're, you're not there's some there's something about fearlessness here too with hostilities and page of swords here even though you feel like a page but there's no f there's fearlessness which means even though i might feel like i'm not cut off for it then the universe is going to guide me anyways because i'm guided by love with the angel of love here all right nice five of swords yeah I'm, I'm willing to go up against anything this is what this person is saying whoever this person is you might be this person or you might be the other person as i said okay we have death and the eight of cups okay yeah because you've walked away from something you have transformed you've gone through a transformation and you've walked away from something right i mean you could have walked away from scorpio or someone with strong scorpio in the chart all right eight of cups you've put an end to something and it's transformed you once you put an end to this thing whatever this this thing was okay the angel of love came in and transformed you like literally with the three of wands here you might be wanting to travel i'm hearing king of swords
Am I supposed to take that? No, not yet. Yeah. Eight of Wands and the Ace of Wands. Look at that. You are ready to move. You are ready to take action here, whoever this is. And the Wheel of Fortune, exactly. The Wheel of Fortune is turning for you. Because why? Because you've made the decision to go after what speaks to your heart. What your heart is telling you to do. And the door to romance is opening up for you. And the universe is going to light up the path for you. And everything is going to come in effortlessly for you. You might be seeing 33, okay, or 333, all right? Okay. Some of you are going to be celebrating or there's something about summer here with the sun here, okay? Summer, the six of cups, there's something about the next three months for you is going to be really, really good. It's going to make you feel like things are going to lighten up for you, you know, and and you're Oh my god, you're influenced by love. <laughs> I love this. And because you're being influenced by love, the wheel of fortune is turning for you, okay? fireworks okay I'm, 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 I'm seeing fireworks because of this song um, champagne supernova so uh, there's some sort of celebration that's gonna happen between you and your counterpart here whoever it is that you're moving towards all right yeah you're looking towards the sky you're looking towards new horizons right that's what I'm hearing okay with the with with this and the three of wands okay the three of wands is like waiting for your ships to come in um, you know looking out into the horizon knowing that your ships are coming in knowing okay having this knowing all right this surety even though you're not where you want to be but you know that's where you're headed okay faster than a cannonball the more you follow your heart the more spirit is going to open the, this door to romance for you and you've gone through a lot here you, you you are willing to fight for this. That's what I'm hearing. And you're studying up. I'm, I'm hearing that you you are in the middle of researching, okay, at the moment. The Page of Swords here. You are willing to go up against obstacles. Yes, I'm hearing, okay. You're willing to face obstacles. You're, you, you have fearlessness in facing these obstacles. That's what you're being influenced by. I love it. I love this pile. I love it. Okay. So the signs I'm seeing is strong air sign. Okay. With the page of swords, king of uh, swords here. Also Scorpio. Um, Sagittarius. Um, all the signs on the fixed all the signs on the fixed what am i saying all the fixed signs okay let's try and remember that taurus aquarius scorpio what's the other one taurus aquarius scorpio <laughs> and the other one leo leo okay all right so leo uh fire signs too with all this fire the nine of wands um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and the Four of Wands here, okay? Yeah, those are the signs I'm seeing at the moment. Okay, so pal number two, that was your reading. That's what you're being influenced by at this time. Um, amazing pal. I just want to like sit in this energy for a little bit more. 
but I won't. Anyways, <laughs> thank you so much for coming to my reading. I hope that reading resonated with you. If it didn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and choose another pal. If it did resonate with you, remember, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so that you guys get no notified on future uploads. If you'd like to book a personal reading from me, you can find my email details down below in the description box. Email me there and I'll send you the rates. Um, thank you so much for all the bookings, for all the donations, for all the likes, for all the comments, for all the love, for all the support that you guys show me. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much to each and every single one of you from the center of my heart. I truly appreciate all of you and um, I will see you guys in my next video, okay? Hi pal number three, so before you start your reading, I want to make it a habit of uh, cleansing the energy with the sound bowl, okay, so. Steady energy, call three. Very nice. Look at that. Nice. Okay, so pile number three. What energies are you being influenced by at this time? Peace. Okay? You're being influenced by peace. You just want peace. You want to be alone. You want to be alone. You want to be... You want to be you you're you're cocooning yourself from here okay you are influenced by comfort and peace and serenity at the moment i'm also hearing tranquility um because it, it seems like she's submerged underwater here it's like a cocoon underwater okay so some of you you're feeling held by your emotions i'm hearing okay you might be in your emotions at this time okay you might be a little bit in your emotions at this time but it's almost like you are purging yourself but it's not from a place of pain it's almost like um, maybe you don't understand why sometimes you get into this state where you just want to be alone and you know be in your fields and stuff you are holding space and holding energy uh, holding or, or transmuting the pain of others I'm hearing okay so you are being asked to cocoon yourself at this time you're being held at this time okay by your angels you're working on your solar plexus I'm hearing okay Maybe some of you are feeling a little bit lethargic or you, you, you don't feel like doing much, right? But that's okay, you're meant to rest at this time. Restful. It's like a uh, restful peace, okay? You're influenced by your own emotions right now. And your heart this is also some uh, a, a pal um, that is influenced by your heart space right now okay so you might be feeling a lot at this time all right and that song was called nude so you might you might feel like you've been shedding a lot or cleansing yes cleansing exactly why did that cleansing all right you're being influenced by the energy of being cleansed at this time so you're in a cocoon state all right you want to feel cozy in pain you want to feel 
You just want to be in your energy at this time. I'm also hearing self-love, self-care, a lot of feminine, soft, flowy, sensual energy in this pile, okay? Very feminine. Dreamy, ethereal. Yeah, you might be daydreaming a lot. <laughs> You're healing yourself in it. Wow, look at that. Magician in the mirror. Beautiful. Because you are in your manifesting state. Okay, you're manifesting its time. And receiving. Journey. Okay. I'm seeing a lot of greens and blues here. I love it. And some reds. Well, okay. Anxiety. Hostilities has managed to come out in each and every single one of the piles and the angel of love, okay? So, yeah. Some of you are worried about love. This is another um, pile that is influenced by love, your heart space, okay? But, and also you are in your manifestation mode, but there is some anxiety that's going on here. Maybe something is taking too long, I'm hearing, or something. Yeah, we have the world. Okay, at the bottom of the deck. Get through this now. Yeah, some of you have been deep in your feels or anxious about something and you, you don't want to do anything, but some of you have been like crying a lot, okay? You don't necessarily understand where these emotions are coming from, but you're transmuting this energy by crying, okay? And you are on a journey here. We'll see if it's a physical journey or not. But I feel like you are probably worried about the state of... Uh, you want to move, I'm here. You want to move, you want to travel, you want to take a journey somewhere, but you're afraid with the state and affairs of the world right now, I'm hearing, okay? Um, that you, this might not be able to, yeah, it, it might be too much of a fight for you to, you know, with hostilities and angel of love here, you're like, is it worth all of this, you know, to go through this pain? But what you don't see is that you're manifesting at this time, okay? Right? Even in your anxiety, even in your, 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 I'm not necessarily feeling pain, but I'm feeling more like apathy too. That's also what I'm feeling, okay? Apathetic. The magician, under the magician, in the mirror. Okay. Yeah, you've been releasing a lot. The Hierophant, you're on a spiritual journey here. Okay, with the Hierophant here. I can't see, it's so glary. All right. The Knight of Cups. You guys are worried that love won't come in, that you won't find love. Six of Wands, because you are going to find love, okay? You are going to be victorious, all right? Even through all these hostilities, even with all of these uh, obstacles that you're seeing, that you, that you are, you know, focusing on, okay? Bottom of the deck, we have the Eight of Coins, all right? Maybe some of you are worried about work too, okay? Worried about your career, um, yeah. Some of you are focused on work at the moment. You're focused on building something. You're focused on work. Um, maybe something that you do online, okay, with World here and um, Eight of Pentacles, right? Or something that, or, or a line of work where you have to travel, I'm hearing, okay? And you are anxious about this. 
but there's like you are being influenced by two by the things that you want to manifest that's what i'm hearing okay with the magician in the mirror and the magician here that's a that's a strong message that you are manifesting even though you think you're not you're in your receiving mode right now all right and your journey is inwards okay at this time your journey is meant to be inwards and you are doing that i'm hearing that you are in the middle of doing that with the hierophant and uh journey you are um I'm hearing some of you might be um, wanting to go on a retreat or something, okay? And with anxiety and I have cups here, you're worried that you might not find love, okay? So this is what's influencing your energy right now. The lack of love in your life. Romantic love, I'm hearing with Angel of Love here. Okay, and then I have Cups. But you are going to be successful here, all right? Because whether you see it or not, whether you know or not, even though you're in your feels, even though you're in your anxiety, even though you see all these obstacles, you are still manifesting this. I mean, hold your vision, hold your vision, okay? Whatever it is that you've been daydreaming about, you daydreaming is you manifesting, basically. You daydreaming and holding that vision in your mind, okay? Some of you might be worried that you might not be able to start a family. For some reason, I'm being drawn to the gold area here, okay, on this Masonite. So it's like, it's like, it's like a, a pregnant cocoon here, right? Okay? Yeah, maybe you're worried that you might not be able to start a family. Okay. You are going to be victorious okay with the six of wands here you will be victorious the angel of love wow that just popped out page of cups and the devil i'm not going to keep that out but that is a message there all right um there could be someone toxic around your energy right now that's also trying to influence your energy it could be a water sign okay it could be a water sign um that is wanting to apologize for their own toxic for their own toxicities i'm hearing this person is obsessed with you i'm hearing okay obsessively thinking about you and obsessively worrying about you with anxiety and knight of cups here okay Yeah, that's, that's, I'm hearing specifically that someone, that specific person is somehow influencing your energy and putting anxieties within you, okay? So you might want to cut ties with whoever this is. It could be this person that is, um, is affecting your solar plexus and your sacral chakra. This person, I, I don't know why I'm getting all these downloads. This person has been taking energy from your sacral and your solar plexus, okay? This is why you feel um, a lot of anxieties, okay? You, you're feeling a lot of fear, all right? You're tuning into a lot of fear, all right? And specifically this person's fear. This person is taking your energy and exchanging it with their energy, all right? And I don't feel that their energy is in the highest vibration at the moment because the, the, the devil came out, okay? So that means toxicities, all right? So this person could be someone quite toxic around you, right? It's not good for your energy, okay? 
you're meant to be on a spiritual path here with the Hierophant and journey here. And you are going to be manifesting your true love, your one true love, even with whoever this is that's trying to hold you back. All right, you will be able to, okay, break away from these hostilities. You have the Four of Cups, apathetic. That's what I'm hearing, apathetic, like, okay, whatever, you know. We have Five of Pentacles. Three of Cups. Some of you are worried about a third party situation here, okay? And we have the Knight of Pentacles at the um, under Six of Wands, okay? And bottom of the deck, we have the Emperor, all right? Okay? So, I'm hearing you are in control here, okay? You're in control. You're in control of your own reality. Don't allow others to, other people to, to, to manipulate your energy i'm hearing there's some energy manipulation that's happening around you here you could be dealing with some Ugh, i don't like this energy i don't know why i'm tuning into the this water science energy okay just give me give me a stomach ache yeah the anxiety is in your solar plexus and your your sacral So, some of you, you might be feeling alone and left out at the moment and apathetic, like you feel like nothing is happening, you feel like, you feel like, you, you feel like giving up, that's what I'm hearing, okay, some of you feel like giving up and you just want to be alone, you just don't want to deal with anyone, that's what I'm feeling, okay. Maybe this person put you in a third party situation, right? Okay. Yeah. Toxic. That's what I keep hearing, toxic. Cut them out of your life. Cut them out. Okay, take control. The Emperor here, you can take control. You are in control. You are in control. You are the magician of your own universe here, okay? And you are manifesting. The magician in the mirror, the magician here, strong Gemini here, I'm hearing, okay? Right? It is going to take some time and some work here, okay, with eight pentacles here, but you will, you will be successful, all right? You will be able to get through whatever obstacle this is with hostilities, okay? And even though wherever it is you are at in your journey right now, in, because you are on a spiritual journey, you are manifesting, you are manifesting even though even in your apathy right you are manifesting so be careful of what visions and what what you're holding in your thoughts i was saying in pile number one about uh you know um people being on social media and what you don't understand like what i understand with tiktok and reels instagram reels things that keep and and what um youtube stories and not not stories youtube uh the short posts right where you can keep repeating things over and over and over and over again right that's you that's you literally feeding your subconscious mind because it's on repetition all right let me make you happy i wanna make you feel right
okay so be careful of what you are feeding into your subconscious mind because if you keep looping things you know negative things low vibrational things over and over and over and over again that is what's going to get stuck in your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind is going to you know by law your subconscious mind has to reflect that to you because it's in your subconscious mind your your super conscious your subconscious your over over soul okay that is what's controlling your 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 reality okay as within so without okay you are in control all right so take control so um The signs I'm seeing is strong Gemini here with the magician. All right, um, Aries, um, Taurus, and some water signs. Okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Jupiter. All right. So, pile number three, I'm going to end the reading there. I don't think there's anything else that I need to touch on. Is there anything else? Mm -hmm. No. So, um, thank you so much for coming to my reading. I hope that reading resonated with you. If it didn't resonate with you, you can go ahead and choose another pile. If it did resonate with you, remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, and also hit that notification bell so you guys get notified of future uploads if you'd like to book a personal reading from me you can find my email details down below in the description box email me there and i'll send you the rates uh thank you so much for all the bookings for all the donations for all the likes for all the comments for all the support for all the love um thank you thank you thank you so much to each and every single one of you from the center of my heart i truly appreciate all of you and i hope you guys have a good week and i will see you guys in my next video okay bye